Today, we're going to make kombucha. I make kombucha a little bit different than most folks, but there's a lot of similarities. We're still using water, we're still using tea. But where I differ is that I actually make a tea concentrate. I do this instead of making a huge pot of water that takes forever to warm up, and then putting the tea bags in there and boiling them and then waiting another several hours for it to cool down, I'll actually use a smaller amount of water, 20 tea bags, I'll remove the paper tabs. I don't really like the taste of paper very much. And then into the water it goes. Now we'll boil this, heat that for a bit. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. We use exactly two cups of sugar. I'm making this to do a continuous brew, two gallons of kombucha. So that's 20 tea bags and two cups of sugar. Basically back to those ratios I like so much. It's one gallon, 10 tea bags, one cup of sugar. Mix that a bit. It's starting to get some really good color in there. Yeah, that's looking just right. It looks almost, it's almost got a little bit of turbidity to it. Now we're going to remove those tea bags. If I'm not doing this on camera, I'll probably just let this cool down so I can remove my hand and squeeze all of the good stuff out of the tea. We'll discard those. We don't need those. And then in we go with the sugar. Now we're gonna mix that in until it dissolves nicely. And on to the next part. Now we need to make room for our fresh sugar tea by harvesting the kombucha from the last batch. You can see the big scoby in there. That's um, a few weeks worth of scoby. Now, if you leave all that scoby in there, it'll just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. I usually try to split it up after a few batches. That way I have more room for kombucha. Your scoby, your symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast is pretty amazing. To prepare the tea concentrate for going into the jar, I strain it to make sure there's no free-floating tea leaves. Go read your tea leaves there. And then I dilute my tea concentrate. I use filtered water. Um, it removes the chlorine and other impurities that might be in our tap water. I check the temperature. You want this to be lukewarm. You don't want to burn your SCOBY when you put it in there. This is what I was talking about. A lot of times people will make this with two gallons of water ahead of time. And two gallons of water takes a long time to cool off. So I'm cooling off my tea concentrate and diluting it at the same time. And it goes. Get a bit more water in there. Now it's just starting to look like kombucha, but it would be very sweet kombucha. When the kombucha is done, it'll actually taste a little bit like apple cider, but a little tart. It's, it's so delicious and it's so good for you. Now I mix that in and make sure it's evenly distributed. Put my cloth back on with a rubber band. I make sure to erase the date <laughs> from its last batch. The final thing I'll do is write today's date. 
so that I know when to harvest this batch. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.